Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that how to make a google search engine from scratch using surfstack api so this is the website which is surfstack.com so here you need to first of all create an account it provide real time and accurate google search results for you and after registering you will be getting to dashboard this is your access key and after you register here there is a certain endpoint here that you need to go to so this will return a json response to you so this json response we will be passing it inside application so let's start building this so create an index.html file and uh, give a title of surf stack api in javascript So inside this we will be having a simple form here it will have input field of type text and let me just imp imp import bootstrap cdn so just go to this first link here and uh, copy this cdn and just after the title paste this link so we also need jquery as well so jquery cdn go to this website w3schools.com and you will get your cdn so drag down so this is the cdn copy it and uh, after the body you need to paste it we will also include the custom javascript file index.js and now we will be giving a id to the form which will be form here and inside this we need to wrap this inside form group this is a bootstrap class and for this input field I will also be giving a class to it of a form control and a placeholder of search after this we will also be having another form group class for the button as well so inside this this will be btn btn danger btn block this will be simply be search and let me just show you the application so if you go to localhost 5500 so the button class btn btn danger oh sorry this needs to be btn block so now you can see that we just want a simple container class as well to wrap this to have this margin and the padding so wrap all this inside this container class of bootstrap so and also give a heading after this google search results now you can see that now you can just type any any sort of query here inside this and also just make this auto complete to off and now after this guys we need to write the simplest of code in javascript just get the reference of the form and uh, submit when the form submits this will have a callback function which will execute having the e parameter which is event so we will execute this e dot prevent default so this will prevent the auto submission of the form and now we will get the query which the, which the user has entered by we have given this id search to the input field we will get the value like this and now we will be making the request to the api substack api so basically let me just copy paste the endpoint that we will be this is the endpoint that we will be using here let me just copy it and inside the url we will be making a url paste it endpoint so this api key we need to declare here api key 
or access key or API key similar so API key will be equal to the API key that you have got from your dashboard so I will go to the dashboard copy this paste it and now I will replace this with the API key and uh, after that mm, let me just make it as back diff single so that we can just write on multiple lines so here we are just dynamically is pulling the variable so we can just write like this and type is equal to web device is not tablet so we can just remove this so query whatever the query that is there so we can just insert this as query like this so this is our URL ne now we just need to pass this URL like this so this will contain a callback function holding the data for us and now we can just console log the data like this so that if it is correct or not so if I look here go back to the application once again if I right click inspect element and go to console if I search here programming let's suppose click on the search here basically success is false it is there saying to me that uh, you have not supplied a valid access key mm. let me just reset it so this is now the API key let me just copy it and now if I refresh it why it is saying that it is invalid access key it is correct here let me just change this to again like this single quotes just change like this and uh, hopefully this will work now uh, access key is equal to we now need to concatenate this just remove this API key oh sorry this needs to be single quotes and uh, the type will be equal to web and query will be equal to the actual query which is uh, So let me just also console log the URL as well. So and now if I pass the URL programming mm, let me just open this in new tab. it is saying to me that it is missing the search query let me just make it as uh, single quotes x is key now if I again refresh it just remove the space here because there was some kind of space here and now if I refresh it
so this needs to be query is equal to that is why the error was there so just make this change query is equal to and now basically if I refresh it if I write here programming so now hopefully it will return response to us so you can see that guys this is the response and inside organic results here we have got these uh, positions we, uh, eight results are returned here so this is the first result we need a URL domain all that stuff we need to display first of all I need to turn off the auto save so inside our index.html we will make this element of a div which will be giving a result so inside this div we will be populating all the results so right here inside this we will first of all want these organic results so this is the array here so we will use a for each loop so this will be data dot organic underscore results dot for each and we can just take as this uh, result like this index variable and for each element there is a URL title and uh, the displayed URL as well so and a snippet also so what we can do here is that we can just declare right here at the top a variable which is result which is in initialized to nothing here and now inside this we can make this result you can use the backtick symbol to write multiple lines of HTML code so first of all we need the title so we can use here we can write here h1 this will be response to our title and uh, on the new line we need to close this h1 tag and on the new line we can just give h a tag which is anchor tag and inside the href property we can just use result dot this is a property which is uh, url response dot url or we can just also write this inside like this response dot url so we are displaying title and the url and after this anchor tag we also can display inside a paragraph the snippet as well so response dot snippet close the paragraph so this is a snippet we are displaying here and for now we just need to add this also to the DOM element so just after this we can select result here and we can just use the append method and pass this this result we have given this ID of result here that is why we are targeting here so now I need to switch off the auto save here and now if I refresh the application if I write here programming and uh, click on search so you will see that these are the bunch of results which are displayed here first is what is programming beginner's kite hacker.io and this is a complete link of that if I click this I will be redirected to that website and one thing I can do here is that I can just attach an attribute to this anchor tag so when I, when I click this I will be clicking this inside a new window so just attach this attribute which is underscore blank
so if I again write something here programming click on search so you can see that eight results are displayed here on first page and uh, if I click one of the link here this will appear in the neck in a new page in a new tab and some snippet is also displayed here so similarly when you use Google also you will see the heading of the web page the display URL and its short little snippet as well so this is valid for any kind of search result so if I click this research result so this will open this website so in this manner you can just change the title and for this one one little change that we need to do is that whenever we are making a new request we need to first of all clear out the previous content so this will be dot html to nothing so every time we make the new request we need to clear out the previous entry and now if I search a new entry let's suppose javascript and click search so now it will display javascript related entries here you can see that I can change this to html click on search so just wait you can see that so in this tutorial we have built a similar like search engine of Google using Surfstack API in HTML5 and JavaScript so thanks very much for watching this video